Panther fans, uh, preview the Cincinnati Bengals game for ya. Um, let's get to some injuries. Gary Barnage, our tight end, is listed as probable. Tyler Brayton is listed as probable. Charles Johnson, our right end, he is listed as questionable. Brandon LaFell, he is listed as probable. Um, Jeff Ota is listed as doubtful, so he probably will not play. Um, Steve Smith, he had a thigh problem, but he's probable, so he'll play. Um, we're going to have a hard time stopping Chad Ochocinco and Terrell Owens. That's going to be a problem. Um, because our, our secondary, like I said in my last video, if you guys saw it, we don't have any leadership in our secondary after we traded Chris Harris away. So that's why we've had so many problems and our defense is tired. So that's another thing. Um, but I think we have some corners that can cover them. I mean, their offense has not been that good. If you guys have watched them at all, I've kind of occasionally watched, you know. But, uh, their, their offense isn't that good so far, but you never know. But I think we can win this game. I think just bringing Jimmy Clausen in, that's, that's going to make everybody happy. Matt Moore's, you know, he's just the guy that didn't want to have fun, it seemed like. I don't, I don't mean that, like, I don't like him or anything, but it just seems they didn't get along too well like everybody. It just seems they didn't, uh, mesh right, you know. They didn't gel, and that's, I think that's a big problem, but... I think they do like Clawson, what I've heard and what I've seen like on the sidelines, whatever. Um, but yeah, I'm glad Clawson's a starter. I think we're going to be pretty good there. Um, oh yeah, um, the offense, we need to sustain some drives because our defense is just so tired. We don't... You know, we don't have anything. And I think we got to look towards Steve Smith some more because Steve Smith, the man, I mean, you can't deny that on this offense. And everybody is saying Amani Edwards and uh, stuff, and they need to put him in. But what it comes down to is our offensive coordinator is a retard. I mean, that's all there is to it. He's a retard. I, I, I don't know how to put it any way. I don't mean to be offensive to anybody, but... I, he, he is not, he is not a smart coordinator. He's the most obvious coordinator in the league. Our coaching staff sucks. And like another video blogger that's on YouTube, he's saying, put Amani Edwards in, but, I mean, that could be, that could be a, you know, a choice for us, because, you know, he might throw something in there, but he's not going to be that good, but I think we should play him, but. It's all about, we're so obvious. We're so obvious. That's why our, why we can't do anything. We're so obvious. We're, okay, two wide outs. Three tight ends. A running back. Go on, basically. I think they're running it. And so I think that's pretty obvious. And then when we do pass it, we would go more like a run play, but we still pass it. So people are kind of catching on to that. We have a, we have a little th technique we do with our offensive coordinator. Run, run, pass, punt. That is what we do. And if we don't change that up, we're we're not gonna win. Period. So I think we definitely need to throw something in there. Like Steve Smith, he needs to get more screens. He needs to get more screens. He is probably the best wide receiver for screens. Period. Steve Smith, 89. Okay, 89. Why isn't he in all the time? I don't get it. Like, why aren't we trying to get him the ball? So, I mean, in Jonathan Stewart, eight attempts. Eight attempts. Okay, he rushed for 1,100 yards last year. Eight attempts. Eight, he had 42 yards on eight attempts. That's pretty freaking good. That is, that is ridiculous. He should have a lot more than eight attempts. And Mike Goodson, he's a good wild card. He's got some explosiveness, but he's not better than Jonathan Stewart. He's not better than D'Angelo Williams. Throw him a screen once every 50 plays. Let him return kicks. That's it. You let Double Trouble do what they're going to do. And Dwayne Jarrett, you freaking bust. You bum. Get open. Okay? Get open. This is ridiculous.
You are supposed to be good. You're supposed to be C. Smith's confidant. And you don't get open. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Brandon LaFell did sack up, play, hamstring. I don't care. Play. Plus is probable, so I'll probably play, but come on. Suck it up. Thomas Davis, I heard he's really making a recovery pretty fast. I don't want to talk about that too much. I don't want to jinx it or anything. Um. Yeah, our defense, that's, like I said, with the secondary. Chris Gamble and Richard Marshall are good people to cover Ocho Cinco and Terrell Owens. But you know who I could actually see having a good game is that Gresham guy, is that his name, right? Uh, tight end out of Oklahoma. I think he could have a good game against us, and that sucks. Um, our D1 needs to get pressure. Hopefully, getting Tyler Brayton back will be helpful. Maybe he'll turn into Julius Peppers. I don't know. But I hope that we get some pressure because we have one sack on the season, and that's by Dan Connor. Why? I mean, I love Dan Connor. He's going nuts. Dan and Roseanne, dude. He, he's going nuts. I, I love him. John Beeson, he's, you know, he's doing what Beeson does. And. D'Angelo Williams, Jonathan Stewart, we need, we need better running lanes. Jeff Schwartz sucks. People say he's decent, plug-in guy, but he sucks. You watch him, he gets dominated. And without Ota, our running game is nothing like it was last year. So until we get Ota back, we're not going to do anything. Um... Other than that, I think we're pretty healthy, you know, other than Ota. Everybody else seems to be getting back, or they will be back next week, probably. So that's that's pretty good. Um, we, we missed a lot of throws in Tampa Bay, because, uh, like, that Ros Rosario play, he, he was open, but bad throw on Matt part. Matt part. Dave Giddens wide open, you know? should have been a touchdown. Um, but this is what it comes down to. This is why we lose our games. is because we don't sustain drives. If you don't sustain drives, that means your defense is on the field. You know what happens when your defense is on the field? They get tired. So if you're not sustaining drives and letting them get refueled, you're done. You're going to lose. Because defense is tired. That's the only way you can put it. Jimmy Clawson came out of a pro-style offense at Notre Dame with Charlie Wise. Our offensive coordinator used to coach with Charlie Wise. I guess nothing rubbed off on him, though, but <laughs> hopefully that helps him. Because Jimmy Clawson is going to be really good. I hope he's like Jesus or something, but I don't know. But I think I think we'll be alright here, so just hopefully we get something going. And just, you know, leave me a comment or whatever, and... I'll make a preview video for uh, our next game, so thank you.